Hi dearest, how are you doing today? So today we're going to be learning how to make this trendy fascinator and in getting to know that we're going to learn first of all how to transform this our uh, mode into this fascinator base. Then we're going to learn how to make this spiral or what do we call it and then to make this lovely cute bow. Then we learn how to do our feathers like that and jump all of them to make this fantastic trendy fascinator. But before we get into it, I still don't have the person who won this. Someone actually got the answer right but there is something missing in it please do go back to that video okay so let's get into today's video so here are the items we'll be needing for this trendy fascinator first of all is our mold and the cutter that i have over there then your feathers and your spray black spray since i couldn't find the black feathers then you have your needle and thread uhu gum in case you can't find any of these items i'm listing in your location below the description in the description of this video you would find the amazon the aliexpress and my links now we have our stiff crinoline this is one um, inch one inch stiff crinoline your chalk measurement tape your hot glue gun your scissors my favorite hot wire cutter piece of um, princess mat pegs zigzag scissors have your bronze hot wire this is 1.2 mm gauge your iron your invisible thread or fishing line 0.35 millimeter diameter your brooch and a round piece of foam poly so the first thing we're going to do is take off our tongue tags from the mold that we had already prepared in our previous video. If you have not watched this video, please do check the description of this video. I would put the link so you know how to make the fascinator base. What we're making this trendy fascinator is to cut out the piece around the mold. Okay, this will enable you to be able to bring it out of the mold itself. Do you understand? The piece around the molded fascinator rather. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cut it all the way around. Have you been noticing gifts in my videos and you're wondering how do they come about? Stick around, you get to know. Once that's done, you put your fingers in between the fascinator base and the mold and start giving way and pulling it. If you keep doing that, you keep going round and round and the next thing, it pulls out like so. Next step is to trim off the edges. Now, I do it up to the part where the pin is. Do you understand? But just make sure that no matter how you cut it, there is a space for your hot wire to sit inside your molded base. Keep watching and learning. Next step in preparing, preparing our fascinator base is to put in our hot wire. Now, there are two ways of putting our hot wire into our fascinator base of measuring the hot wire. But this way is one of my quickest way. I just push in the fascinator wire in till it reaches, it overlaps like at least two inches. And then I take my cutter and I cut it like so. Then I bring it out carefully ensuring I'm still taking it, still leaving it in the right place. And then I wrap it up. In case you don't know how to join your hot wire properly, please do check the description of this video. I would put in a link of the video I've already made on that. So after you have joined your hot wire together with the thread, the next thing is to wrap it up with bias. Now why I'm wrapping it up with bias is because it's um, um princess mat that I used, which is a bit transparent. So I'm using the same color so the hot wire is not visible through the fascinator piece. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so it's ready. So the next thing I'm going to do is place it inside my fascinator base like so. So I'm lifting up the top layer and placing it into position. Now once you're done placing it in position, the next thing is to take your hot glue gun and stick it together. Now when you're using your hot glue gun, you have to be careful to ensure it doesn't seep onto the other side. If it seeps, you would have to spray. If you're not so careful then I think the best and you don't have a spray the best might be to use um, uhu gum and put pegs to hold it down for a long while so it sticks keep watching and learn Okay, 
right so you're going to do this all the way around so i'm done with that the next thing i'm going to do is to take my bias and cover up that part where i have just placed my hat wire i'll cover up the lap on top to join so i cover up the rough edges there all right so keep watching and learning so i'm going to do this all the way around And that's our fascinator base ready for us to make the trendy fascinator. Next step in making this fantastic trendy fascinator is to spray the feathers. Okay, so I've sprayed it with a car spray and this is how it is. You know, this is spread out like this. So now I want it to be scattered a bit. So the way I'm going to do, can you see how I'm folding it like so? So that's what I'm going to do and then sew that part up. And that's how it comes out looking spread out. So keep watching and learning how we make this trendy fascinator if you're enjoying this video so far please do take a minute and give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you want to also pause and click that subscribe button and so you don't miss out on any of this wonderful information you're getting you need to click the bell so you get notified of all my upcoming new videos. Now let's get our bowl ready. So what we do is we measure out our pulley. This is 13 inches by 5 inches and we're going to fold it into two. Okay, so we're going to cut it giving it a curve shape like that with our zigzag scissors. So. So you're going to do that to both sides and this is how it comes out. Then the next thing you want to do is pleat it like so. Can you see what I'm doing? Just watch how I'm going to fold it. Watch carefully. You're going to do that to both sides. After you fold it into half like that, you can replay it to see how it goes. I'm going to fold it into two to ensure that I'm sewing the middle. Can you see? Okay, so I've checked it. It's okay. So now I'm going to sew it together okay the next step is to take that piece of um princess mat i told you about it's 8 inches and I'm going to be using it to prepare the base that I will put underneath the fascinator base to lift it up so that my Alice band will stick properly so just watch and see how I get that done Okay, so I have actually marked the position where I want it to be using my dummy head and now I'm using my uhu gum to place it on top of that position. So you want to check with your mannequin head to see exactly how you want to place your Alice band and place this first of all there and then I will show you how I sew my Alice band to it. Okay, let's move on to the next phase of our trendy fascinator. Now I'm going to be sewing the Alice band, this 0.2 inch Alice band to the fascinator base on top of that elevator that I just put using the piece of um, princess mat that I used. And I'm going to be sewing it and making sure it holds firmly on it all. Remember when you're sewing on the top part, you take the thread directly that same place or close to it, not directly to come out. All right. Okay, now you see that bumpy part there where that comes out through the folds when the crinoline was folded. Now we need it straight to be able to get this design very well. So I'm going to be ironing it all the way down. Now please ensure you check your iron first of all in the normal material before you iron the um, crinoline. It shouldn't be too hot. Just a little warm. 
okay after i ironed it down i cut out 22 inches into six places of the crinoline and this is the way i fold them and i start sewing them together you have to fold them this exact way when it gives you like um a diamond shape at the edge so that it would hang like it's hanging okay so take a look closely at how it's folded can you see this are 22 inches so you fold it like so can you see the shape okay so i'm now going to place it on the other one that i did and i'm going to sew so keep watching and learn So here's the measurement so you see it is 22 inches. edges you grab the edges of each of those corners to ensure it's held properly and stands still so that's it looking gorgeous the next step in this trendy fascinator is to sew our bow to our fascinator base just at that position where you attached your Alice band. Then you take your feathers and you sew it at the corner like so. done sewing you want to glue it with uhu gum at that corner and push it down so we're going to be doing it at the two corners one on that on the left hand side the other on the right or i should say one up and one down after that's done the next step in our trendy fascinator is to sew our spiral stiff crinoline to that to the middle of that bow Next step is using your um, invisible um, thread or the fishing line. You sew your brooch to on top of the spiral stiff crinoline. Then you cover up the back with a round piece of pulley. And that's how we make this trendy fascinator. I'm sure you're all waiting for it. Okay, so here is the question for today. So what is the total number of inches that I used in making the spiral stiff crinoline design? Do let me know in the comment section below and the person that gets it gets to attend fascinator class one for free in the Ventcraft academy so before you run off do check out this next video in my channel 
and thanks once more for staying with me till the very end.